This is a 10 by 16 foot shed that I converted into a music studio last year, right around this time. And it definitely got hot in there over the summer last year. So this year I added a Mr. Cool mini split. But we'll go ahead and do the install and then we'll take a closer look in the studio. To get started on this project, I took the inside unit out of the box and removed the mounting bracket. The air conditioner is for the music studio and the walls in the music studio are stretched canvas. So for this reason, I attached the mounting bracket to a piece of half inch birch plywood. After cutting the plywood a little oversized, I added a decorative chamfer to the edge. I then used the cardboard template to align the mounting bracket and cut the hole for the line set. After cutting the hole, I removed the cardboard and reattached the bracket. Then I attached the plywood to the inside wall of the music studio. I then used a long drill bit to drill a pilot hole in the center of the three and a half inch hole. On the outside of the building, I again used my jigsaw to cut a three and a half inch hole. Now a three and a half inch hole saw would definitely make the project a little bit easier, but I didn't have one. Then I cut the provided sleeve to the correct length to create a smooth passage for the line. Okay, that's good. With a little help from my son Jack on the other side of the wall, I fed the line through the passageway. Yeah. Next I lifted the unit into place and flipped it into position. I wired the unit into an AC disconnect and I'm not an electrician so I didn't want to cover this on the video. I just watched a few videos on YouTube and I did do it myself and it was really pretty simple. Then I attached the line sets to the unit and made sure they were tight. The last step is to remove the valve covers and then open the valves with the Allen key that's provided. After I've opened both valves, I'll replace the valve caps and put the cover back on. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. It's really a pretty simple installation. Definitely read the instructions, watch a few videos. It's good to do that even before you take the unit out of the box, just to become familiar with it. Like I said, I didn't go into the electrical aspect of this because I'm not an electrician and I don't want to give any electrical advice. But I did do the electric myself and it's really pretty simple. You just have to take your time. And uh, that's one part that you will have to buy, the AC disconnect. I was able to get it at my local um, electrical supply store. It's also, it's also something that you can find on Amazon. So that's about it for the outside. Let's go inside and take a look around the studio. So this is the music studio. It's a 10 by 16 shed. It was a pretty simple conversion. I did put a deck on it last year. The deck is Apollo decking and it's really held up well. And it also doubles as a stage, so that's really cool. For the walls of the music studio, and there's no lights in here really, there's some Christmas lights that the kids put up. My son Jack's holding the camera right now. Um, so the walls of the studio are canvas. Uh, what we did first was I just ran the electric in the uh, in the shed, basically putting an outlet about every six feet. Then I used safe and sound insulation. And once the insulation was done, then we stretched, I think it was 10 ounce canvas. And uh, so it's a good stiff canvas. And basically just stretched it like you would stretch a canvas for making a painting. And the corners, I am going to add some corner 
uh, like corner boards too, just to make it look a little cleaner. I haven't got to that yet, but I do have the material. Uh, on the windows, and you're probably going to lose this because once the camera goes out the window, it gets kind of dark. But I made removable casings for the windows because if we ever want to replace the canvas, we can just pop these out. They're held in with four screws. There is a video on that project, and I'll put a link right here and one in the description. And as far as installing the unit, that was pretty simple. As you can see, I used half inch birch plywood and we've got the one hole for the line sets and then over here I've got the uh, the controller and then there's a little mounting bracket here and so we just leave it here like a kind of like a thermostat so to turn it on basically just turn it on and if we walk over here you'll see that the vent is opening and you've got your temperature display right here so it's a really cool modern look and it definitely makes this place very comfortable. I mean last year it got pretty hot in here. So uh, what do you think Jack? Was it pretty hot in here last year? Yeah, definitely. You want to play the drums at all? Uh, sort of, not really. Not really? Okay, that's alright. Yeah. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for tuning in and hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe and I'll see you next time.